Hey guys, this is Linda with Making the Most of It with Linda. And um, today I caught my mom in the act of making authentic Thai papaya salad. And I hope I did a good job recording. We will find out when I edit this video. But um, this is the keeper. This is a recipe you want to keep and make monthly, weekly, daily. It's so good. So I, go, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you give it a shot. There are a couple ingredients in there that are not mandatory and that may be harder to find. But even without those ingredients, just try. Because I guarantee you're going to love what's coming next. You have something in mind? No. I was just wondering what you were doing. Can you make a papaya salad? I'm planning to, but... They make it, but they really chop it up and put it away. Are you going to chop up the papaya for papaya salad? I'm recording you. Well, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to peel it. And later I'm going to chop it. All right, guys. I caught my mom in the process of making papaya salad. So what she's got there is a young papaya when it's still green. And she is shredding it. This is how Thai women shred it. Mom, how do you learn how how did you learn how to shred your papaya like that? Well, what did you think? <laughs> your mom? <laughs> your mom and dad teach you that? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody does it. That's how everyone does it. So she got a big knife, and uh, she's looks like a good way to get out aggression. Yeah, and then get your finger off too sometimes. Uh oh, yeah, don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> you might lose a finger or two. Oh, you can buy one of these. Oh yeah. See, at the Thai store or Oriental store, they sold. Yeah, that's a shredder too. It's a lot safer, a lot easier to yeah. use. And then just use it like this. See? Just like you peeling and shaving. But I grew up watching my mom do this all, I mean, every, as long as I can remember, she's been shredding her papaya salad like this. Yep, it tastes better this way. It tastes better this way. Because when you use that, is it? They get these too thin, and then they, you know, don't have no bite to it. The um, papaya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these make a thicker kind of shred. Let me show you up close. Yes. See, and then you go like this. Just fly it. See? And you do that. Whatever time I do one. That's what they come out. And you can use carrot with it, or and then green bean, but I don't like. I just like well, pure papaya. You just like the papaya in it. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna keep doing this until it gets down to nothing. She'll take every piece of meat off of that young papaya that she can using this process. Now here comes the tricky part. I have to catch her while she's making all the other ingredients and mixing them all together to make papaya salad. If I can catch that, I'll be sure to, you know, show you guys. Because papaya salad is one of the most amazing foods in this world. Let me know down below if you've ever had papaya salad. Thai papaya salad. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so mom's in here making her sauce for the papaya salad. And she is smashing up green peppers, red peppers. They're Thai peppers, right, mom? Mm -hmm. And is that a shallot? Garlic. A garlic. Sorry.
Now she is throwing in some peanuts. Just roasted peanuts. I believe those are unsalted peanuts. Now she is cutting up a tomato, really small, into the, what is this called, Mom? A mor Moro pesto or whatever. A mortal and pestle. I think that's what it is. Okay, so one tiny tomato goes in and... It's a wild Thai olive. And that is a wild Thai olive. Where do you buy that, Mom? In the rental store. You get it at the Asian market. You don't have to use it if you don't have any. It is not mandatory if you can't find it, though. Because it, some people don't like it, but so, I do. It's tart. It's tart? Mm -hmm. I've never even heard of it. But I, I know I like it because I've eaten this recipe a hundred times. This is the first time I ever watched my mom make it. Okay, so that one's not mandatory, but it's cool. It's an Asian olive. You're putting in another one? So that's two Asian olives. I wonder what the name of them is. Say that again? Makok Lao. Makok Lao? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you guys would have luck finding that, but if you do. Alright. Okay, so now she is going to put in just a little dash of sugar. That's just plain white sugar. It wasn't very much. I don't know how much that would be. A tablespoon, maybe? No. Not even? I a teaspoon? Like... A teaspoon, probably. And that's a lime. She's squeezing some lime juice in there. And what's that, Mama? The tamarind juice. And that's tamarind juice. Just a little splash. Where do you buy tamarind juice, Mom? Same. At the Asian market? You could just, it comes in a can? Yeah, it comes in a can, or you can buy the pulp, the whole fruit, and then make it yourself. Okay, or you can buy, yeah, buy the tamarind and make it yourself. But they can sell it in the, in the can at the Asian market. And now this is just fish sauce. Which is in every Thai dish. I'm so happy I'm getting this on video because now I can make it. <laughs> okay, now she's just squishing it all together. What's that, Mama? It's fermented fish. It's fermented fish sauce? Mm -hmm. Or... Where do you get that? In the oriental store, you have to come in a big jar or a big bottle. A big bottle? And it, it's just a fermented fish mm -hmm. in a bottle? Okay. So a couple spoons of fermented fish that comes in a bottle at the Asian market. But some people don't like it and you don't have to... 
you would say me just do feet sauce. And that's another ingredient that if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. It's not I mandatory, do. but we like it, so we are using it. And that's just a little bit of salt. Sprinkle of salt. Oh, it smells good already. Now, this is the papaya that she was chopping earlier or shredding earlier that I was showing you about. Excuse me. So she's putting part of that in there. Not all of it, but probably a third of what she shredded up from that one pap green papaya in there. And now she's back to pounding. What do you think? Mm, not me. It smells good. So she just tasted it, seeing if she's going to add anything to it. So she had a little more fish sauce for her liking. How many chili peppers did you put in there? About five of them? Yeah. About five? About two green and three red? And those are Thai chili peppers that she started out with in the beginning. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Is that it? Yep. And that's it. How easy was that? That was not hard at all. Here I was thinking, this whole time, that's got to be a difficult recipe, but really not that difficult. So she's pouring it in a bowl. We're going to be eating it with um, sticky rice. This is kind of like a jungle style because I use some mint fish sauce in there. It's the, the sweet style, you, use, you don't use that. Okay. But so, you use the fish sauce and more sugar. More sugar for the... for. And then tomato and lime juice and that's it. No, don't have to use that. Yeah. So the, the fermented fish is not necessary or the olive. She said this is called jungle style because they have those in this recipe, but they're not mandatory. It'll still taste good even if you leave them out. Man, that smells good. So we're going to eat this tonight with um, sweet rice. And uh, I'm so happy I finally got it on video after all these years. Thank you, Mom, for letting me record you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Say goodbye to the people. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> goodbye.